Hi teachers, I'm so excited to share this resource with you so that you can create class lists um, no matter where you and your team are. So when you download this resource on Google Drive or add it to your drive rather, um, you'll be able to see all these different templates. Um, at the time of this product's release, there are templates for um, splitting classes into two all the way to teams of eight. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is delete the templates that you do not want. So for the sake of example, I'm going to just use the template where I'm splitting into two different classes. So I'm going to select and delete all of the extra slides so that I don't have anything extra. And then I would suggest first deciding with your team if you would like to use a key or not. Um, you may be used to sorting class lists on note cards and having different keys or things you might not be. I'm gonna use the sample key that I've created today. Then I would suggest making um, the number of slides you need for your current team plus one extra. So again, for the sake of example, I'm gonna say we're going from two grade level classrooms again to two grade level classrooms. So I'm going to create three slides. You can do this by right clicking and duplicating or using command D. Um, then each teacher will have their own slide and then there will be one extra blank slide. So I'll get to the, the blank slide in just a minute. So I'm going to create the slide for my classroom, which would be Miss Bohm. And then I will go through and add in all the names of my students. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a little more clearly when I'm editing those names. So as I'm editing the names, um, these are all text boxes, so you're free to change them up however you need to, if you need more or less text, box, text boxes, or if you need them to be shorter or longer, smaller or bigger font, they're totally customizable for you. Every time I click on a box, um, um, if you double click, it will automatically highlight the name so you can type your student names quicker. So I'm just going to type in a couple sample names. Okay. Now, if you type in all of your student names and you need to quickly change the font color so you have male and female labeled, one thing you can do is you can click the boxes and then hold down the shift button. And as you can see, they kind of get a blue highlighter on the outside. That's how you can see which boxes you still have selected. So I can select many at the same time by holding down the shift key. And then I can change the font color for all of those at once. So I've selected which are male names. Um, this is just for the sake of example. I can keep on doing that. If I need to label some students as IEP students, I can do the same thing. Whatever other tags you and your team have created, I can do that by selecting a box and using the paint can or by selecting um, and highlighting text. It's important to highlight it first and then to use the highlighter button and highlight the words. Either work just fine. So each person on your team would create their list and then I have two ideas for how you can sort from there. Idea number one would be that each teacher would go through and sort their student names between the classes first. So the teacher would go through and divide their students whatever is appropriate for them, whatever is um, typical for your school. If you divide IEPs, if you divide boys and girls evenly, whatever that may be, that would be option one. And then that blank slide comes into play because this would be your master class lists. And then your you and your teachers would meet on Zoom together. Um, you would click and drag those names and you would copy and then paste them into the master lists. Your um, cooperating teacher would do the same and then you would be able to compare. You'd be able to see those, those key colors and then rearrange and click and drag those names as well. Option two would be each classroom would type those names and provide their keys ahead of time. And then you would come to that master list and create it. You can delete the student names at the bottom and you would take turns sorting together. So you can take one classroom at a time and copy it and paste it into the master list and then sort it um, all together. So you can take maybe, maybe it's important that you sort in 
specific students first, maybe it's that you sort all of your male students first to make sure that they're equally divided and then females. You can also take that second class list and you can copy it and then watch what happens when I paste it in. It will be on top of this class list, which looks crazy. But at the moment, every single one of the students in that new class is selected. I'm holding it right now. If I use the down arrow on my keyboard, I can bring it right down. So now I can see both classes of students right now um, and I could go ahead and sort those. Once you're done sorting in whichever method you decide will work for you and your team, you could share this with um, your principal, your school secretary, whoever it is you need to share this list with, or you can transfer the lists onto a spreadsheet. I hope this has been helpful. Um, thanks so much for downloading and please be sure to reach out if there's anything I can do to help.